Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a picket fence and I'm going to show you a few ways you can use it for decoration. But first let's have our shout out to Double X Loves the Answer, Ricky and Ruthie, Juju Bonnie Begin, Spoily Girl, Carol, SM, Vicki, and Manuela. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is my inspiration, you guys. I've had this thing for years. I've had it sitting around. I don't even know why I purchased it in the first place, but I've always held on to it. And today I said, ooh, there's an idea. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a picket fence. I've already made two other pieces of ephemera that I can show you different ways in which you can use the picket fence. And then we're going to make our own little version right here. So I have started with just thin strips of coffee dyed and this is not super heavy weight but it's heavier than copy paper and somebody's going to say well what's the exact weight? I don't have a clue. <laughs> don't have a clue. This was in my scraps. All right so what we're going to do first is I thought this is another piece of scrap that I found and I thought, well, that you could journal on in, inside here if we make that the inside. So let's go ahead and let's just fold this down. And let's fold it, goodness gracious, I think we should fold it right here. So now you can make these things any size you want, but this one happens to be about three inch depth that I folded this and then I'm going to fold this over this way just like that. So it's just going to have a small flap and I'm going to need my little tool here. So now we're just like this. Okay. So I think what I'd like to do is go ahead and bring in my corner rounder round the corners and then um, I think we should ink it. Now I'm still not too sure. Am I going to make this into a pocket or am I going to make this into a fold out that you can journal on? Uh, maybe a pocket so it's stationary. All right, so that said, I'm just going to need to ink up everything, but I don't have to ink up this part. And then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I have ink around, and I think we'll just go ahead and put a little glue down, and we'll just seal this up and make it into a pocket. I don't even think I'm going to do a thumb notch. Just going to put that down just like that, and let's just seal it. There we go. Now we have ourselves a pocket, and on this pocket, I would like to build a picket fence. I'm not going to build it onto the flap. Flap. I need to build it under the flap on this part right here. And do I want it to go all the way across or maybe just part way? Well, that could be determined in just a few minutes. But right now, I'm going to mark it. So here's my flap. My flap comes down here. Here's my first little picket. I think it should be this long. So I'm going to need to make a few little pickets this long and I'm not sure how many I'm going to need so let's just make a few now that's obviously the wrong size right there and then if we're just going to make it part way then I let's see let's just look and see here I don't know. I think these might need to be skinnier. I think we're going to have to make these skinnier for this. The others that I made were this size, but I can see now that this is going to have to be skinnier. I don't even know if I could cut it that straight or not. That's pretty skinny for me to put in that machine. Oh, there we go. We'll just, we'll just wing it. <laughs> we're just going to wing it here, and we're just going to trim them. So... There's four, and then let's measure another one. 
just like that. And let's cut this in half. There's six. I wonder if that's enough. All right, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put a point onto this. So I'm just going to make it point because once again, let's uh, bring in our picket fence and see we have points here. And we have this part that sticks out a little bit. Okay, so that's what we're going with. So let's just make points in all of these. So I'm going to continue on and I'm going to keep making points and these shorter ones and then I'm going to ink it. Okay, only inking one side. So I'm going to do that. We'll get back and we'll put it together. All right, so I'm all ready. I have them all cut to the point on one end and I have inked them up. All right, so we have our two longer bars that need to go down first. We need to, to kind of decide where they're going to go. They could actually go all the way across. If we make it all the way across, I need to Go ahead and ink the ends. I was thinking we would only make a short fence, but now I'm thinking maybe we should make a long fence all the way across. We're just we're just playing here. We're not real sure how it's going to go together, but we're going to make us a little fence here. So let's go ahead. And uh, now are we going to use this as a pocket or just a decoration? Because that's going to matter in how we're going to glue this down. I'm thinking that maybe we should make it as a pocket and then we can always change our mind later. So let's get this like that and let's just put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue there and we'll just start building it. We're going to take our little first little Piece, and we're going to put it right here. That's about right. This might need to be moved up just a tad. There, maybe like this. I think that's more like it. Now we're going to need another little dab of glue and another little dab of glue. And let's put our next one in. We're going to do the two ends first and build forward. I think that that's the best way I know to make them as e even as possible. And so we'll put our next one right in the middle, like this. Okay, oh it's cute already, right guys? And then, do we want just, do we want two more in there or one more in there? I think it's going to need to be two, so that means I need one more of these. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I had enough, but I need one more. So let's cut this in half. Let's cut our point. Okay, and let's go ahead and ink it. Alrighty, now let's put our other two. Oh, I've got my little pieces in here. I've got to get them off. <laughs> okay, I don't want to accidentally glue it on here either. Okay, I can move it off now. Alrighty, there we go. Now let's go ahead and continue. So let's put another one there. right here and right here. That's good. Doesn't have to be perfect, Kathy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Oh, it's so darn cute. It is really cute. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Oh my goodness, you guys, is that not adorable? That's absolutely precious. Now, 
I'm going to move my glue over here and put it upside down in my little jar. Now, we're going to need to have some kind of closure to close this. Now, do we want to just use Velcro? Do we want to use possibly a butterfly and make it part of the little design here? Do we want to make it a label? Oh, I kind of like the label idea. I do. I don't think it should say New York because I don't think we're going to find it. Well, there's some parts of New York that has picket. They have picket fences. <laughs> they most certainly do. That's pretty cute. I'm not real sure yet, though. It might be too heavy. Uh, how about a flower? I'm looking for a uh, a closure, something to put on our little. Closure. I've got a little umbrella. That's really sweet. We could put some roses on here. It's a little big, isn't it? Okay, guys, I'm kind of going, woo, what do we do here? What are we doing here? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I'm not sure if I want... Oh, how about if we do some bling? Something like that. Okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, you guys, I went over and I got my box of Tim Holtz pieces. They're all different kinds. Look at this butterfly. I think this butterfly looks wonderful with this. I think that's beautiful. Maybe we can find something to put on the top. There's also, oh goodness gracious, look at that. There's a, what's that thing called? Mushroom. That one's too big. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm still looking for something at the top that maybe would be good. Oh, well, that's cute. Parcel post. That's really cute there. Alright, let's just look here real quick. No, don't care for that one. No. Is this fun? Nope, I like that. Okay, you guys, I think that's adorable. So let's go ahead. Now we're going to need to glue this down. And I think because the flap, this is mostly going to be for decoration. Now the ones that I am going to show you that I have made are not just decoration. They serve a purpose. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Just like this. Okay, that's pretty even. I like that. And let's go ahead and glue this butterfly down. I'm not going to glue that one wing down because I want it to, even though that butterfly is pretty huge, I still think it's really cute. And I need to stick this up underneath, maybe even at an angle. I think that's cute. And let's go ahead and put this mushroom right here. Just like that. Have that mushroom growing right there. And then let's put our partial post on there. And where's the middle? It's about right here. Like that. And let's go ahead. Do we want any bling on this? I'm not sure that we do. I don't really see it happening. Do we want any of this? Goodness, should I put that down? Okay, we did it. So now we need to get, oh, sorry guys, I'm looking, oh, look how cute these are. I went over there to get my Velcro, but I'm thinking, oh my, how cute is that? Oh, 
Oh, now I think that's pretty cute, but it kind of needs a little something else to it, huh? <gasps> what if we put a butterfly on it? I wonder if there's another color of a butterfly. If we have another green one somewhere. Okay, guys. I, oh, here it is. Oh, that's part of that picture. Oh, that's cute on it. Okay, guys. I'm getting carried away, right? <laughs> I'm just having too much fun, right? Ah, there's no such thing as too much fun, right? Okay, so I wanted to find a little butterfly. Here's a little tiny butterfly right here. It's kind of the wrong color, but it's pretty doggone cute. Here's a blue one. There's an orange one. How about that one? Oh, yeah. Let's just stick that one right on there just like that. Now, I've got my table all full of everything. And I would like to show you. Oh, my gosh, look. Oh, now that's cute if I say so myself. And then you just can open it up. And you can put your items right inside. Oh my goodness, I love it. What happened to my little safety? I mean, my, my close pin. Okay, here's the other one. Now, I've made this one right here, and they have little pieces of ephemera that right here is the pocket as the little uh, fence, the picket fence. And then I open it up, and then there's some papers here with a little decoration. I think that is super sweet. And then I made a large journaling card with a, a ticket right here, or a tag, I should say. And there's another mushroom, and I used uh, My Porch Prints. Is this printable here? Isn't that sweet? Oh, you guys, I absolutely love how these turned out. And I love our little pocket if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.